Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Ralf Kopsch. I'm Senior Support Engineer for Kyle Microcontroller Software Development Tools. Let me give you a brief overview of the Cortex-M trace functionality, an outstanding feature of ARM Cortex-M based microcontrollers and the Kyle MDK ARM toolset. The limits of run-stop debugging are apparent when testing time-critical control applications like motor control or communication stacks. Single stepping or breakpoints change the dynamic behavior. Frequently software problems can only be detected in the active or running system. Trace lets you analyze the running system. ARM Cortex-M processors integrate the Corsite debug and trace logic that offers the following features. The breakpoint unit allows run-stop debugging with up to eight breakpoints. Memory access allows monitoring of variables, buffers, and peripherals while application code is running at full speed. Data watch points trace memory accesses with data value and program address. Optional program execution can be stopped. Exception and instrument trace communicate important program events via debug channels. Instruction trace streams the complete program execution for recording and analysis. The various trace types can be selectively enabled and contain timing information. Let me exemplify the usage of these trace features in the Microvision debugger. The logic analyzer uses data watch points and provides a graphical display of variable changes. You may choose up to four variables and select different display modes to show state changes or an analog signal. Data watch points allow also trace recording of memory accesses. ITM trace communicates, for example, details about interrupt execution. It shows how often interrupts are executed and provides information about minimum and maximum execution time of the interrupt function. ITM trace displays also RTOS thread execution over time in the event viewer and may be used with code instrumentation. It even enables a printf style debug output. The performance analyzer uses instruction trace. While your application code is running, you can identify performance bottlenecks and time-consuming hotspots in order to optimize the algorithms. Instruction trace enables also code coverage to fulfill certification requirements and in-depth analysis of the execution history to identify sporadic execution errors. In this application example, most of the time is spent in the get key function polling a status bit. Interrupt-driven I.O. may be used to eliminate this. Let us explore the various physical connection interfaces to the trace unit. Evaluation kits frequently offer two standardized debug connectors in a small .05 inch pitch. The 10-pin debug connector allows run control and serial via trace output with the SWO pin. The 20-pin debug ETM connector is a superset of the 10-pin connector and offers full instruction trace output. Almost every Cortex M3, M4 microcontroller device offers the serial wire or SWO trace output. SWO delivers data watch points, exception, and instrumented trace. However, SWO does not allow instruction trace. Many Cortex M3, M4 microcontrollers have an additional 5 pin trace port interface that delivers the full instruction trace stream. Trace information can be selectively enabled to adjust the type of information that interests you. With TracePort, you can have the full range of trace information that includes data watch points, exceptions, instrumented and instruction trace. Some Cortex M3, M4 microcontrollers provide an ETB or the embedded trace buffer. ETB streams the trace information in an on-chip RAM that can be read via the normal run control interface. In this mode, no additional trace pins are required, but the amount of trace information is limited by the on-chip RAM. Therefore, it is important that your debugger offers triggering of trace information based on program conditions. Even the smallest ARM processor, the Cortex-M0 Plus, offers trace via the MTB or the micro trace buffer. Besides run control debugging, the Cortex-M0 Plus provides instruction trace that is streamed to an on-chip RAM. This solution is a good compromise for small form factor devices that have pin limitations, since MTB trace can be read even via the 2-pin SWD debug interface. Now let's take a look to ARM's debug adapter and development tools. A 
full feature tray solution requires the following components. MDK ARM that includes microvision, the integrated development environment with a debugger and various trace analyzes features. Ulink Pro which connects to your target hardware and streams the complete trace information to your development workstation. Ulink Pro connects via 10 pin or 20 pin debug connectors to the target hardware. Remember that only the 20 pin debug ETM connector provides the full instruction trace stream. The Ulink Pro is the ARM debug and trace adapter that is specifically designed for Cortex M microcontrollers. It offers connectivity to all Cortex M microcontrollers and supports all trace variants. SWO for single pin trace in high speed Manchester mode. MTB and ETB for tracing via a 2 pin SWD or 4 pin JTAG debug interface. Full instruction trace with Ulink Pro's streaming trace technology that records the complete program execution and overcomes trace buffer limitations. It is required for non-intrusive program analysis and provides full code coverage and performance analysis without compromises. The Ulink Pro debug and trace adapter is used with the Kyle MDKR microcontroller development kit. Please refer to kyle.com for detailed information about the usage of this powerful trace solution. Thank you for your attention. In case of further questions, please contact our sales and support team.